Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be awesome as well as informative at the same time. If you guys remember, a few days ago I posted a massive unboxing video, right? And in that video, you might have seen that XPG has sent us some really awesome stuff. You know, from their new range of lineup, uh, which includes their brand new summoner keyboard as well as an RGB mouse pad. If you haven't watched that video, guys, do check it out. Those products were awesome. I leave a link to that in the card above. And along with those products, XPG has also sent us their special AIO liquid cooler. So here it is. This is the XPG Levante 240. I guess this is the first time XPG is actually making a liquid cooler. They usually they're usually into this peripherals and you know those sort of stuff. And this is the first time they actually made a uh, CPU liquid cooler. And guess what? This one is not just some ordinary one. It comes with some really cool features. But the main highlight about this product, you know, is the lighting. It comes with a special addressable RGB lighting, guys. It's got some beautiful around 24 ARGB LEDs, comes with low noise fans as well as pump. And based on Acetec's latest cooling solution, this thing, you know, packs a punch. I'm pretty excited to unbox and see how this cooler looks like and as well as how it performs. So let's get started. So the XPG's Levante 240 AIO comes in this sort of box packaging. We've got the XPG logo and a picture of the product on the front. This is an addressable RGB CPU cooler guys and comes with pretty nice features for the price. Mainly the RGB lighting. It features dual ring ARGB fans and offers beautiful effects. It's compatible with a variety of motherboard RGB sync softwares. You can just have a look over here. Talking about the features, it's got addressable RGB lighting, comes with low noise fans, has an all aluminum radiator, a high quality low noise pump and is very easy to install. So those were some of its features. Now let's quickly get started with the unboxing. There's some paperwork at the top which includes a user manual and a free sticker pack from XPG. And these must be the fans. It's a 240mm AIO liquid cooler right? So it comes with two 120mm fans. The fans on it are special guys, let me show you. Wow, just look at that design. They're 120mm low noise fluid dynamic bearing fans. We'll talk about them in a moment. First, let me also show you the other stuff we got in the box. You get a packet of installation screws and mounts. As I told you just now, this cooler is compatible with both Intel as well as AMD platforms. And here is our radiator and pump. So that's it. These were all the items we got in the package. Now let's check out the Levante. So this is how the radiator block and the pump looks like. It's a 240mm AIO that uses Aztec's latest water cooling solution. And here is the pump of the cooler. Has the XPG branding at the center and a triangle like design that glows in RGB. And from my first impressions, the build quality looks very good. But the pump head looks quite compact and slim. I'll have to see how this thing performs. Talking about the tubing, it's got sleeved rubber tubes and the quality looks nice. The radiator also looks solid, it's got an all aluminum construction, supports fixing two 120mm fans and looks just like most of the other radiators. Coming to the fans, XPG's fans look really cool, I love that aggressive design on the fan blades. They're not just for the looks, they're actually designed to keep the noise as low as minimum. They're low noise fluid dynamic bearing fans. And if you can observe, the RGB lighting is not just in the fans, the body also has two RGB rings on both the sides to give it an attractive look. And the fan speed can be controlled via PWM from 600 to 2000 RPM. So that's it, that was our quick unboxing and overview on this AIO. Now let's quickly assemble it and install it in my PC. Holy smokes, just look at that RGB lighting on the fans. Each of these XPG fans have 24 ARGB bright LEDs that produce beautiful lighting effects. I also love that dual ring design around the fans. And not just the fans only, even the pump has a beautiful triangle like design with ARGB lighting. So guys, the lighting on both the fans as well as the pump head can be easily synchronized with compatible motherboards. And the RGB lighting on them can be fully controlled using the motherboard software. Let me tell you about the fan speed and the noise. Fan speed can be varied from 600 to 2000 RPM and I can definitely say the fans were very silent even up to 1700 RPM. And at max fan speed which was around 2000 RPM, I could barely hear any fan noise that too only when the PC was placed on top of my desk very close to me. Coming to the performance, this liquid cooler was doing a great job in keeping the CPU cool. 
I'm using this cooler on my Ryzen 7 2700X that too overclocked and as you can see while playing AAA title games at 1440p resolution in ultra graphics, the CPU temperatures were fluctuating around 54 to 57 degrees which is pretty decent. So usually when there was no load the idle temperatures of my CPU was around 37 to 38 degrees centigrade and under heavy loads of gaming for a period of around like 20 to 25 minutes the CPU temperatures were going around 59 to 60 degrees centigrade but based on my experience on an average the CPU temperature was around like 56 degrees centigrade. Also just for comparison sake, before installing this liquid cooler, my test bench setup was having a stock air cooler and during that time, the average CPU temperature was around like 67 to 69 degrees. So compared to that, XPG's new Lamante 240 was definitely a step up and offered much better results. My CPU was running almost 12 to 13 degrees cooler than before, even under heavy loads. Well, that's it guys, that was my video on XPG's Levante 240 AIO liquid cooler. It's definitely a great looking as well as a good performing cooler. I love the ARGB lighting, the fans are super silent and the installation was also easy. But there are a few suggestions I'd like to give to the brand. The product does not come with a built-in RGB controller and you definitely need to have a motherboard that supports ARGB header on it for the lighting to work. So make sure you check that before buying this. And the second is the pricing. It's an expensive model and costs around like 10,500 to 10,600 rupees in India. Only if the price was a bit lower, it would have given a tough competition in the market. So that's it, rest everything else was great. I hope you all enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.